Now, Zena, a six and a half foot charismatic transsexual, a man who thinks he's a woman, Zena wakes up one morning, drinks a cup of coffee, grabs a razor blade, and starts to cut his man parts off. Yeah, he gets the right side off, and the left side hides, he's got his hand up in his body looking for it, and he's bleeding to death, and they get a helicopter to the prison just in time to save his life. Now, I'm bringing Zena into it because we're about to get on to the most graphic part of the whole talk, which is the subject of prison rape. If you're a young person tempted into drugs and crime, you've seriously got to consider the consequence of prison rape. It happens in prisons all over the world, including England. I've got a woman who writes for me from HMP Peterborough. She said it goes on in there with various objects. They're checking you out as soon as you walk through the door as potential to rape you. And it doesn't matter how tough you think you are, they'll come up behind you, put you in a chokehold, and you'll wake up and it will already have happened. It happened to Zena. When he came in, he wasn't a transsexual back then. He was weightlifting. He was a big guy. He was a young person. He clicked up with the gang and it's blood in, blood out. I'm going to read you what happened. Were you raped in prison? Yes. How did it make you feel? Messed up. It's very degrading. What happened? The first time was a gang rape. They beat me up. They stuffed things inside my body. Beat me until I was unconscious. Raped me while I was unconscious. What did they stick inside your body? A broomstick. I'm going to skip the following details. Did you think about killing the people who did this to you? I thought about killing myself first. I wanted to. I still do sometimes. At this point, Zena started crying. But he came back with more information. I said, have you got advice for parents whose youngsters are in prison for stuff like marijuana, drunk driving? Does this mostly happen to youngsters? Yes, it does. Especially if they don't have money or street smarts. For it can happen to anyone. Big dudes, skinny, even the ugliest in the world. People who come to prison who don't understand the mentality of ghetto life, they get preyed on. I said, well, how did you stop it? I took the abuse for as long as I could and I started fighting. I won most of the fights. When I stood up and told them that I didn't care about getting killed, it stopped. You've got to be ruthless. That's on the statement. You've got to be ruthless. It was months later when I learned how Zena really stopped this gang raping business. Zena was studying anatomy at the time. The next two times, the gang members came to rape Zena. The first member of the gang to put his hand on Zena. Zena scooped his eyeball out. Yeah, when the eyeball's dangling out like it's on a string, and Zena saying, I don't care if I live or die, that's what it took. Now, there's usually someone worse off than you in the prison system. And around this time, Zena had two friends who were gang raped and decapitated. The gangs held them down, cut their heads off with shovels, picked the heads up, took them, and threw them to an area of the prison where the other gang members would see them to show that they were the most violent and ruthless gang. These guys looked at me as a visitor to the world with my little sentence. They were all serving decades, and the stories they told me just blew my mind. That's why I started putting it on the internet. 